So my husband found a marble on the ground. We just got to the dump. We haven't even started digging yet. So this is a pretty good sign. Now he's gonna have to buy me supper. So, yeah, it's been a little while since we've been to a dump, so it's a beautiful day out. Looking forward to it. You can see where I dug this out of. So this is my first shooter type marble. Um, I think, I can't tell if that's like a pontal or if it's like a ding, either way. It's really pretty. We'll have to clean it up and Wow, looks fairly old. Awesome, two marbles and we haven't even started digging yet. I was all excited thinking maybe it was $50. <laughs> but it's a uh, Love It Play Money and it's like laminated or something. I'll clean it up, but it's kind of neat. Not as neat as 50 real dollars, but neat nonetheless. Just got another marble. This time we, we are digging now. I'm hitting a bunch of this, um, it's like concrete or like something here that has given me fits, but I did just get a marble. Still a little dirty. This is my third marble today. So it's a good day. Well, our third marble today. So in one of my previous videos, I had showed that I had found some, like, what looks like black glass. But when you hold it up, it's, I had some pink ones. This one is similar, but it's a very pretty green. I don't know if you can see that. My phone's not wanting to work right, but... I'll show it more in better light later, but I think it's just too bright out. Pretty sure I found a cowboy. He's very dirty, but there's a hind in. He's got like a lasso. I'll have to clean him up. He's plastered us up the rest of the way at home, but I think it's a good luck token of some sort. Well, that'll be my first good luck token, I think. Or maybe my second. I think the Chevy one that I had found once was a good luck one. It's cool. Pulled this right out of right there. I think it would have been like a Pond's face cream or something, but it doesn't say anything on it. Found part of a doll. Freaked me out a little bit. Um, I think it's just plastic, not anything too fancy. Ow, I'm getting bit by a mosquito. Um, I'll clean it up more at home, but it's got a little hair and yeah. Very Halloween-y. Okay. Hello and Merry Christmas. Sorry it's been a little while since I have put anything out, but it's been uh, a little bit hectic this Christmas season and we just had Winter Storm Elliot come through uh, but I've got a little bit of time before I head over to a Christmas dinner so I figured I'd do a quick uh, quick video for you guys got some interesting stuff this time I've got this which is some sort of love it play money it actually looks really real other than you know the play money and the the how small it is but when I first saw it I about had a heart attack thinking maybe it was fifty dollars on the ground but it's still pretty cool um, See if I can zoom in on it a little bit. The lighting isn't great, but. So yeah, pretty cool. Um, I tried to find a little bit of information on Love It. I wasn't able to find much. So if anybody has some information on this Love It company, uh, let me know in the comments below, please. We got a cowboy. He's very chewed up. It's been, he's, he's been in the uh, ground for a while, I think. He's got a little lasso. He's all there other than I think he might have had a base at one point. If I can get it to focus, but so he actually I can get him to stand. But he's very very chewed up. Still pretty cool. I'm assuming he's probably a marks. But and then 
We got kind of a creepy little part of a plastic doll. You can see his little belly button. I think it just has a zero or like a six in there. A six, I think, or a nine. Got another one of these where when you hold it up to the light, if I can get it, you can kind of see that it's green. We've got blue and um, like a magenta one as well. There you go. I like to put these in window sills. This one's a bit small, but I like to put them in window sills so that you can see when the light comes through. I'll probably make a shelf for them at one point uh, or at some point. We got just a uh, ponds, it says ponds on it, a jar. Hopefully, there we go. You can see it says ponds. Um, still trying to get some of this rust off. I might try to put it in um, denture cleaner, see if that does anything. I also have some of that purple cleaner. Um, so I'll work on that a bit more. I think this is one of my favorite finds that we've ever found because it's very local. Um, but it's a token. It's aluminum, so it's not in the greatest shape, but it says good luck. It has a four leaf clover. And then it says, oh, 12 something ward. Try, try something. But then it says Mount Vernon. I don't know if you can see that, but that's actually where we live here in Ohio is Mount Vernon. And then it would have said some other things down here. I haven't been able to find anything like it online. I've been able to find like the general shape for other tokens. They made tokens for all over, but I haven't been able to find this one. So thought about bringing it to the historical society. We have like a little historical society. Um, but I don't know if they'd want it just because of how rough it looks, but it's still pretty neat. Probably one of my favorite finds. And then we got some marbles. This one's probably the oldest one, I would say, that we have. It's very dinged, but I'll try to get it to focus. But I think it has a pontal. I can't tell if it's a ding or a pontal. These are definitely dings. But it almost looks like this part right here was meant to be there. Don't know a lot about marbles, so if anyone has any idea, please let me know, but it looks like it would have been a really pretty one. It's also very large if you look at it. These are just normal size ones. This one would have been maybe a shooter. I made, I have like a little thing for it. We found it in Utica. Um, I just kind of display it like that. And then I've got the other ones in a flower frog, but that one was too big to fit in the flower frog. We got this. This is kind of a normal cat eye, but I've never seen one that has the two different colors. It's got like a little focus. It's got like a color on the edge that's almost like a black or like a dark color and then it's got red. So that's pretty cool. And, and excuse me, and then I think this is just a normal um, like clear base blue cat eye. I've gotten a couple of books on marbles from the library to try to figure some of these out, but um, I still am very new at marble collecting. I just, when I find them, it's interesting, but I never thought I'd collect marbles, but they're pretty cool. So that's it for that little haul. Um, I hope everybody's doing well. Hope you're having a good holiday. Uh, if you went through a winter storm like we did, hopefully your power's on, your water's on, and you're able to dig yourself out. Um, it's still a little... You can actually tell that our windows are frozen on the outside, but got quite a bit of snow on the ground. The wind was pretty, pretty bad. It ripped some of the plastic off of our windows that we had on there, but it's over now. And we kept our electricity and our water. Um, our parents were not so fortunate. They had a water main break in their village, but other than that, um, happy holidays, Merry Christmas. Um, if you don't celebrate Christmas, then just Happy New Year. I hope everything's going well for you, and I will see you on the next one. Thank you. Enjoy these photos of my two cats enjoying their catnip Christmas toys. The first one's Kitten, the second one's Siri.